If you want to learn how to build something like this, then this is going to be the perfect series for you. Check this out, a redstone bridge and lava pit. Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back today. We are in MCPE starting a brand new Let's Build series. Now this is going to be very exciting since it's on version 0.15.1 and there is a lot of new redstone which means we could create something really amazing. Now I will not be ending the Let's Build series on PC. I will try to do both of these at the same time weekly or maybe twice a week for each. I know that's going to be a huge challenge because I could barely post one of the Mars base let's build like once a week so I don't know I'll try to see where this goes but either way if you guys do enjoy this and you want to see more of the MCPE let's build be sure to crush that like button let's aim for like a thousand likes or two thousand likes whatever gets me motivated to create another episode anyways guys what we're going to be doing today is of course creating a redstone house and the first thing we're going to work on is the front defense system and this defense system is going to include a lava pit with working lava dispensers as well as a redstone drawbridge and also a hidden activation input now I know all of that sounds very complicated and if you're new to redstone you might not understand but that's how we do it on this channel guys we create the best of the best redstone and trust me it's going to turn out amazing if you guys are following along with me all right so the first thing I'm going to do is of course find a very nice flat piece of land this looks okay because I already found it and then what I'm going to do is dig out a trench and this trench is going to be in a U shape or like a smiley face so I'm going to do that first because it's going to take a really long time and then I'll be back and I'll show you guys what I did okay so quickly I'm just going to mention the dimensions for our trench this area over here is going to be 12 blocks long and then the space in the middle which is going to be two blocks wide is going to be the area for for our bridge and the bridge is four blocks long so basically we need to build out the areas on the sides which is basically going to have a four block opening and I did that by creating a space over here which goes three blocks then two blocks then two blocks and then one block and I basically did that on the other side as well and this is where the bridge is going to be and then all over here is basically going to go straight down into a lava pit so yeah now we could go ahead and uh, just dig out everything and also one one thing I do want to mention is that we do have to keep this space so just mark it out when you're doing it and then dig out like four blocks after it Alright, so here is my trench, and it's not that wide, it might look a bit silly, but it will get the job done. Now, you can build this however deep that you guys want, and just keep in mind that you need two layers in order to place on your redstone. So, I built it kind of shallow here, but either way, let's build up our lava dispense system. You basically have to take a dispenser and place it in random locations, place it close to each other, that way all of the, the lava is dispensed evenly, and you would just place it facing up just like that place down one over there and you want to place down one over here and just try to get it facing up and then once we have it all spread out so we could add in the redstone all right, so one thing I did fail to mention was to dig out a layer underneath our dispensers because we do need to power the blocks right below it. So once you have that, you could go ahead and start placing down your redstone. What you want to do is place down a lever in one of these corners, activate the lever, and then place down a redstone repeater going to this block. It will activate that dispenser, and then you would basically carry the signal all the way down to the other side. As you guys can see, this block is going to power that bit of redstone some dust is going to go into that block going to go into this block then we could continue it through this block as well and you essentially would do this until you get all the way down to the other side so let's just go ahead and continue building this so you guys can see how I do it and just place down some redstone dust over there and then you could extend this redstone dust on this side to go into that block and then from this block you could go into this block right on this side by placing down a repeater just like that and placing down redstone dust like that and then place down 
a redstone repeater over here as well and then another bit of redstone dust there and then place down a bit of redstone dust here and there and then another repeater over here and as you guys can see it's very simple you're basically just taking a signal and going from one block to the next and as you guys can see when I turn this off all of the redstone should turn off as well so yeah I'm basically going to finish this up and then I'll go ahead and I'll be back and I'll cover it up and show you guys how it should look so there you go I placed down all of my nether rack as well as I placed down lava buckets inside each of the dispensers now we could go ahead and test this out so let's just go ahead and click on that button and it will activate all the redstone activating all of the dispensers and basically creating lava inside of our lava pit so as you guys can see it fills up the area and that's going to be a very deadly spot for people to fall down in and stop inviting me I hate this update so much because people just spam me with invites like these people don't even know me I mean this is like a random account and for some reason just people spam so much. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and now build the actual drawbridge. Now, to build a drawbridge, it needs to be four blocks into the grounds, as well as you need, like, a 10-space area. Dude, can you stop inviting me? Like, I don't even know you. Look, they're just straight up spamming me. That is so not cool. And what I hate about it is that it does, like, interrupt the game and it does have like this really high pitch ping and he's literally invited me like 50 times already he's still inviting me i don't know who you are i need to block this person so I cleared out the area for one side of our redstone drawbridge. The middle section is going to be two blocks wide and the left and the right section is going to be four blocks wide for a total of 10 blocks. Then it's going to go back 12 blocks and then four blocks into the ground. If we do need more space, I will adjust it in the future. But now let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this. Now I highlighted the actual section for the beginning of the bridge where the actual bridge is going to be located and then I count back nine blocks and on the ninth block I placed down a block right over here you want to build up two blocks like that place down a sticky piston facing towards the middle and when you do the same exact thing on the other side you want to make sure that this is on the opposite side so say for instance you're building it on that side build up two blocks over here and then place down a sticky piston facing like that so we'll go over that in just a bit but at the moment I think this is fine all right so now we place down two more sticky pistons on the face of that sticky piston and place down a block or another sticky piston on the side of that one destroy this block at the bottom and then you want to build out two blocks right over here grab yourselves maybe a quartz block to make it look a bit better or possibly just another colored stained block then you want to grab yourselves a obsidian block build out two over here then you want to build out one diagonally over here and then destroy that block over there. So now we place down a slime block right over there. Place down one, two, three, four slime blocks right over there. Then we want to place down some blocks on the side of this. And this is going to be the floor of our bridge. So for the floor, I want to make it out of quartz. So I place down one, two, three blocks over there. That's going to be the floor. Now I want to grab ourselves another block of our choice, build out a 2 by 4 area on this side, as you guys could see. Basically coming from the bottom of the second sticky piston all the way over to our obsidian. Then we want to grab ourselves some more blocks and build out 1, 2, 3. And that's going to create a total of 5 spaces to place down redstone and just build it all back just like that. And then place down a redstone repeater right over here, right over there, and then right over here. Then place down two more right over there and then place down one, two, three over here to make the total four, two, and four. Then place down redstone dust all along here and then connect it from all of our redstone repeaters. Now what you want to do is keep this on the original tick delay and then set this one to four. Set all of these on the left hand side to four as well. And then you want to set this one at the top over here to four and then set this one over here to three. All right, so once you have that, you want to go ahead and now just destroy the access blocks because you really don't need that. Grab yourself some more blocks of your choice, place down two right over here, then build down a couple blocks over there to catch the redstone and then carry this redstone all the way to the top of that sticky piston. Or you could actually just like place it right next to the sticky piston if you do want. All right, so now what you need to do is grab yourselves a block of your choice, place it down right behind that sticky piston then place down a sticky piston just like that then grab yourselves a block of redstone and then place that block of redstone on the face of that sticky piston then you want to grab yourselves a dropper so let's just go ahead and do that 
Grab that dropper, place it down right over here, and you want to place down a hopper on the face of that dropper. And would you stop inviting me? Oh my gosh. All right, so now we place down our hopper right over there. And then we want to place down a single item into that hopper in order to make this work. So the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves another block of our choice. Place down one block over here. Then you want to build up one block like that. Then you want to build down one block down like that. And then one block up like this. And then finally place down one block down right over here. It should look something like this. Grab yourselves a comparator. Place it down right over here. Going into the block. And then place down a repeater coming out of this block. Going into that block. Set this to four ticks and then place down a redstone repeater coming from this block going into that block and keep that on the original tick delay. Now the final thing to do is grab yourselves another block of your choice, build out one, two, three blocks right over here, then one up like this, one down, one up, one down, one up, then place down redstone dust on top of this spot, and then place down two bits of redstone dust there, then grab yourselves a redstone repeater, place it there, there, and there, and that should be one side of our contraption now completed. Now I, if I did go too fast for you guys, I did do, or I will do a actual tutorial video on this where it's much slower, where you guys could actually see you know all the redstone and how it works all right so let's go ahead and test this out as you can see when i extend the blocks it should go two blocks away from the edge and then when i kind of retract it it should come back into the space right over here so yeah that's basically how you would do it and then i have to repeat this entire thing on the other side and just dig out that area and it's going to take a while but i'll be back and i'll show you guys how it looks so let's go ahead and build out the second part of our drawbridge. I have the same area dug out. So we come back over here, place down two blocks just like that. Place down a sticky piston facing towards the middle of the bridge. And place down two more just like that. And then one on the side. Grab yourself some regular blocks. Place down two right over here. Destroy that block right at the bottom. Grab yourselves some obsidian blocks. Place down two over here. And then one diagonally. And then destroy this one over there. Then you want to grab yourselves some slime blocks. Place down one. And then one. One, two, three, four. Then you want to grab the blocks for your floor as well as another block to build with. I'm going to choose our green lime stained clay as well as our quartz. Place down the quartz right over here, which is basically three blocks. Then you want to place down two blocks over here, then extend this into a two by four area, just like that. And then you want to build this out by one, two, three, and then build this out by two, then build this out by two, and then build this out by one. You want to place down one, two, three, four redstone repeaters, two redstone repeaters two redstone repeaters and a bit of redstone dust and then connect this all up together just like that and then what you want to do is set these all to four ticks on the left hand side and then once you have that, you want to go ahead and set this to uh, the original tick delay and then set this one to four ticks. And you want to set this to four ticks and then set this to three ticks. And then once you have that, you want to go ahead and build out some blocks just like this. Build out two blocks right on top and then place down redstone dust all along these blocks. And then you want to go ahead and grab yourselves a block, place it right at the back of that sticky piston, place on a sticky piston right below that block. Then you want to grab yourselves a block of redstone and and you want to place that redstone on the face. Wow, I can't even click on this. On the face of this, uh, where is it? Where is, did that thing go? Okay, so place the uh, block of redstone right on the face of that uh, sticky piston. And you do have to have a space over here available for this block to move forward. Now, once you have that, you want to go ahead and grab yourselves a dropper and a hopper. Place down your dropper right over here with the hopper right on top of that. So let's just go ahead and actually place it on the face of that dropper and then place down a single item into that hopper and it should get the entire thing going. Now, what we need to do is uh, go ahead and grab ourselves another block of our choice. Let's grab the purple or actually the blue and then uh, grab ourselves our quartz. And then what you want to do is place down one block down over here, then one block up, then one block down, then one block up. And then finally, uh, oh, whoops, I accidentally placed that one block down over here. Grab yourselves a comparator, place your comparator coming from your hopper, going into that block, then going into this repeater, going into that block, set this to four ticks, and then place down a redstone repeater coming from this block, going into that one, and then set this to the original tick delay. Then you want to place down two blocks over here, then one more, then one up, one down, one up, then down, and then one up over here. Place down a bit of redstone dust there, which is basically going to activate that redstone. And then we place down one redstone repeater over 
over here, going into this block, and then one over there, one over here, and then two bits of redstone dust, and that is now our second bridge now completed. Let's just go ahead and test this both out at the same time to see if they meet in the middle. We could go ahead and activate that bridge, as you guys can see, and then activate this on this side. And as you guys can see, that is pretty much our bridge. Now what I'm going to do is basically connect it up together, hide all of the redstone, and also connect it up to our dispensers. All right, so I connected up my drawbridge, and the way I did that was, of course, utilizing the inputs. Now the inputs are just activated using our redstone repeater. So I have one going into the first redstone drawbridge side, and then basically what I'm going to do is place down a redstone repeater over here. This one is going to power that redstone repeater, and then it's going to take another signal it's going to go down the staircase of redstone and it's going to be repeated over and over and over again until it gets to the other side eventually it will go back up above the ground and essentially it will create a signal that's going to go into the second half of our drawbridge now I had to build it underground because I wanted it to go below the lava pit as well as I didn't want it to go around because I might add in some other defenses on that side either way that's basically how I connected it and then to connect our lava pit what I did was just dig out the staircase from the input all the way up to the surface level so I could work with that now what I'm going to do is basically create a T flip-flop and to do this I place down a dropper just like that and then I place down a dropper facing up over here and then I place down a dropper right on top of this dropper facing towards this direction and then finally I place down a hopper going into this dropper which is basically going down all right so now what I need to do is place down an item into this bottom dropper the one that's facing up and then I basically place down an input going into this to activate it and then the output which is going to be grabbed with a redstone comparator then another redstone repeater and that should be good and actually what I want to do is place on a block over here and then take a signal from this that way I could send it towards our lava pit so for our lava pit, what I want to do is just uh, dig out some space over here then build out some redstone just like that and this is just going to um, grab a quick signal actually you know what this can't be a continuous signal this has to be like a button push and the T flip-flop makes it to a lever or a continuous signal so what I need to do is uh, grab the redstone from this location and then destroy these blocks and then the redstone from this location is going to power our lava pit. So I'll show you guys how this works. Place down a redstone repeater over here, and then another redstone repeater over there, and then another one right at the edge. And just use as many as you can because it does make the system, you know, activate better. And it does delay it, so I mean, don't use a lot. Just use enough where the signal strength is strong. And this actually does not work, so never mind. I was being a noob over there, but... All right, so one of the last things you do need to do is make sure the lava pit is activated when the bridge is deactivated. So to do this, I would simply come on over to the input of the lava, then place down a, a button right over here, then hit that button, and then it should activate all of that lava. And now, when I go ahead and activate the T flip-flop, it should turn the lava off and extend the bridge. Now, the last thing I do need to do is, of course, block up this area. So let's just go ahead and grab ourselves some of our dirt as well as some of our nether rack. That way, this area looks nice and uh, finished and clean and pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a final test. We come on over to this button over here. Hit that button. As you guys can see, the lava will go away and our bridge will extend. How awesome is that, guys? It did take quite a while, but the result is very cool now what I'm going to do is cover up the area and then we could see how it looks even better one thing I do want to mention is that when you're covering up the area, you want to make sure that only obsidian blocks are covering these spots, otherwise it will cause your bridge to break. So make sure you place down our obsidian blocks all across here as well as on the side, just so you remember that you need to place obsidian. So what I like to do is just place down obsidian on the top left and right, as well as build down some blocks over here, and then make it something like that, and then I could build all around it. All right, so I filled out some of the area so you guys can see how it looks. I'm not sure what I'm going to build in these spots, so I'm not going to spend the entire time, like, filling it in. But as you guys can see, it looks pretty cool. Now we can come back over here and test out the bridge one more time. And as you can see, the lava goes away and the bridge extends. That is, uh, like I said, pretty cool. Anyways, guys, that's basically going to wrap up today's episode of our Let's Build series. If you guys did enjoy it, please take one second to smack the like button. I would definitely appreciate it. 
hate it, as well as don't forget to leave a comment down below and give me some ideas to build. Now, I do need your guys' help because I need uh, an idea for a building, so go ahead and suggest that in the comment section down below. I'm not going to do modern, so don't ask for a modern build. Either give me a build style, whether it be medieval or traditional houses or just something like that because I really want to do something different and with your guys' ideas, I can definitely achieve that. Anyways, guys, that basically wraps up today's video. If you want to see more, yet again, subscribe, like, and comment. This was Twist, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you